Hey lightweights, and welcome back to some more Mafia 2. Please stop ringing. Please stop ringing. Hello? Yeah, Vito, we got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right, I'll be right there. There goes my Sunday. Should I just go in my underwear? Open up, police! What's going on? What do you do? Will my car that I stole count as a decent set of wheels? Well, that one sure won't. This might be too zippy for me. I don't know if I'll be able to drive this very well. Better shut my door, it's gonna get smacked off. Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me in a rotten jail. That's good. <laughs> because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night, and word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks... We're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Okay, I have the fast car. Not sure about the firepower. Well, I got four bullets there. I mean, I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. I'll be fine. <laughs> we'll wing it. <laughs> Make a little Yui up here. Or not. Okay, truck. Mr. Radius Mouse. Shit. Oh, I just ran over that lady's purse. Sorry, lady. This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? Where are there you, you are. Christmas? Okay, here we go. Shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure oh, Luca God. doesn't see me. <laughs> the little, like, spy music in the background.
to judge like how far is too far away. I don't want us to be like mission failed, you jumps too far. Or you lost the target. to the suburbs? Oh, definitely not. Going to the factory? Comenti slaughterhouse, of course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. Okay. Found the path already. Let's do it. Because when they first said Falcon, I was like, oh, shit. And I'm like, I don't think we actually know him. So... <laughs> I don't know what I'm on. Um. Okay, I thought this was the way, but maybe it's not. Sewer. Maybe that's the way in. Oh. Okay. Maybe it, it looks is. Looks like I can pry this off. I don't really know if I want to go through the sewer, though. Jesus Christ, that reeks. That rat looked like a rabbit. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be a pain. Shit, that dog could be a problem. Oh, 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 oh! This is going to... Yeah, this is going to take me a few tries. I'm calling it now. <laughs> If I have to- ah, Fuck! I should have said, ah, uh, shit. If Luca just stopped by to pick up some steaks, I'm gonna kill somebody. Um. If I'm gonna have to be careful of the dog, there's just no way I'm gonna do this very well. <laughs> Maybe smelling like poop, though, will help deter the dog. Maybe he won't realize it's a human under all that stench. Oh, no, he knows. Hello, doggo. Okay. Um... I don't know how to even... I forgot how to climb. L1. Shit. See? Okay, to be fair, I was pressing it, and it wasn't doing anything. Shit, there they are. Now I got you, you skinny little prick. Okay. He said shit, there they are. I didn't see anybody. I don't know what he was looking at. If I'm being completely honest with you. Do not shoot or your guys will be killed. Okay, who is this guy? Just an innocent dude? Okay. So the problem is, if I get caught at all, I'm gonna have to restart this whole freaking thing. Save your guys. Find out where they're being held. Who's the little guy? Don't know. Never seen him before. How am I supposed to do this without shooting? Can I have a bow and arrow? They're gonna see me. Oh, 
Oh, don't you. having one fucking smoke. Relax. I mean, there's no way I'm not going to be spotted. Okay, apparently they have no peripheral vision. I take it back. Close those just in case. I'm fine with that. That is not a complaint. That guy's having a bad day. Still thinking about quitting? Yeah, probably next month. Are they gonna bother me? Like, they probably won't like that I'm in here, right? Who's becoming a voice actor? Ew, I, this is gross. Who sees me? The pig? Hey, you two. Shift's over. What do you mean, shift's over? You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. Hey, don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. Voice actor dude's like, I'm quitting in a month anyways. So what do I care? Although, now they're probably not going to get as nice of a paycheck, which is going to be annoying for them. I should go that way. I think I should go this way. They don't see me. <laughs> think I don't know about the dough. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on. How'd you get into the States? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on. Take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with this, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> it's it's just a question of whether I'm gonna be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Drop over there. Him. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? <sighs> Jesus Christ, what what is Captain Shitbag here to <laughs> save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still ratting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. Who are we so looking at right you now? joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> Not one of our best moments. Okay, dude. Ooh. No, don't make me fight him. Oh, I was holding triangle to dodge. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. There we go. I got it back. I got it back. Had to get the had to get the timing right. Come on, break his fucking neck, Sammy. What? Oh, there we go. What? Huh? Oh, that had to hurt. Just fighting on this guy's body. Yeah, come back over here. I can't see what you're doing. Sammy. 
can't mess with me. I learned how to fight in prison. Oh. What? You're getting out the cleaver? Oh, you're the best, dude. You're the best. Boys, take care of him. Well, now I have no health, so... What? The wrong guys, assholes. You Who is that guy with the fucking cleaver? Get me down, okay. Thanks, one of my guys. We owe you one. Listen. Eddie sent you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas. Don't worry, Beans. We got you. Fuck you. Oh God! Oh God! I took cover on the wrong spot. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I thought they were gonna come through that other door. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I hope it's saved right there. Oh. That was a good shot. Fuck with the wrong guys, assholes. Loud. Okay, Will I'm you just gonna get down, right please? there. I'm just gonna get here. Ready to go. Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. You're welcome. Eddie send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. I wish I didn't have to hear those Shit. pigs screaming the whole time. Poor Frank. Well, obviously not those ones in particular, but <laughs> I'm kill that son of a bitch. <laughs> not funny. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay. Maybe I should go here. That way. Fuck you. You missed me. They took a different path that time. Oh my lord. <laughs> Dude, can you get in some cover please? Because I'm going to shoot you. I can't shoot. I can't shoot. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Well, I'm still about to die, so not great hey, either. Is he getting shot through the pig? Couldn't tell. All right, Vito. Let's get that little fuck. Little cocksucker's gonna piss his pants. I just hate, I hate Guess where who's next. it puts this. Too late. I love how he's using Here a fucking cleaver. So, uh... Oh my lord. Yep, that's... Why? Why? Dinner. Well, you're gonna be late for dinner forever. Cause I'm shooting your ass. Okay. Clearly, I can't get that guy on the single. Got him that time. Let's go, come on. Okay. 
let's go there. Where are we going? Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Knock, knock. Come on. Let me in. Okay. This is about to explode. Can you hurry up? Let me shoot it down. Gonna be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy, like a like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. Okay. My shotgun would probably work too. Oh. Son of a no, it wouldn't. <laughs> Rick. Thinks you're so fucking smart. Think you're so fucking smart, huh? Go ahead. Try. Son of a bitch. What's he doing? What's he think he's gonna do in this little room? We could just wait out here forever. You'd have to come out eventually. Oh! I'm gonna have a little fun with Luca before I grind him up. Wanna join me? <laughs> Thanks for the invitation, but I think uh, I'll pass this. Is it. Blood, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Eddie he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You? You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you want to give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. Okay, that guy's guilty as hell. That guy's in on whatever. Listen, I'm calling this shit right now. That dude... That was sketchy. That was sketchy. You're still alive? He's worried about him because he knows that he was about to get found out. And now he's like, oh yeah, let's kill Luca. Because Luca's the guy that will be able to pinpoint me. To say that I was like a mole or whatever. Just saying. Might not be right, but it feels right. Should I take Luca's car? hysterical oh my god that would have been so bad <laughs> okay apparently we don't wear seatbelts this car doesn't even have seatbelts I know they weren't really a thing until semi recently but okay clearly I'm just gonna destroy this car anyway so who cares if I hit a couple things on the way out Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus Christ, was that you? <laughs> Vito, oh Jesus, why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done, you think I'm enjoying this? Okay, 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 what happened with Luca? It's done. All right, how about our guys, you find them? Yeah, Luca had him in the slaughterhouse, Frankie's dead, but balls and beans are fine, Luca was, uh, Interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so whoa, of Luca's bodyguards who hey, ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. <laughs> you smell like shit. Change your clothes. That was a nice pay dump. Ladies. <laughs> I was waiting for it to be an automatic door. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, well. <clears throat> oh, don't that crap on me. Buddy, you stink. I love that. Tailored suit and overcoat. I guess I'll buy a new leather jacket. It's not as good as what we had, but that's okay. Sorry for hey, speaking up your store. Uh, I also think I'm gonna buy a hot dog. Oh, Percival wants one apparently. Are we gonna just stare at him awkwardly, or are we gonna tell him what we want? That was a very awkward hot dog interaction. Thank you. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me. We're gonna be made. Oh, oh I should have bought a nicer tonight? suit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. <laughs> Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. You know, I made good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. Leo's looking dapper. Upstairs. 
What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. He's like two Don't school joke about kids, my Leo like that. Don't talk about my Leo like that. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. That looks like the most uncomfortable couch, booth, whatever it was. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. What are you thinking of me, Vito? Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen, a society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family, or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me. Which finger would pull the trigger? Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell just like this saint. Amico Nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. What's that mean? Amico Nostra. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And it's You might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending You're almost right. seven years in a can. Friend of ours. You see where I grew up? The only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. You're somebody to me, Vito. Alrighty then. So I was making a note to cut that song out. The uh, last video, since I didn't cut the music out, it got blocked. <laughs> so I had to cut some of it out because it got blocked. Actually, before I do anything, I'm going to turn... Sorry, guys. I would love to have the music on, but it's not even about demonetization. I, I can't even get the videos posted with some of the songs, so. Gotta do what I gotta do. Our house is so cute! Uh, hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. Joe? What are you doing? Look how stinking cute. We have an ironing board built into our living room wall. Look at our kitchen. Oh my god, I love this house. Where's my closet? Where do I get my clothes on? There's my bathroom. 
Um. We use the hall closet. Okay. Oh, not the hat! Oh, no. No! <laughs> Why you gotta do that? <laughs> what happened to the... What happened to the jacket I just bought? Do I have a car? Ooh, I need to cut the lawn. And across from the park? How cute! We're living the good life. Is Joe still in this shitty apartment? Joe. What are you doing? Why didn't he move yet? Okay, I mean, it's a nice apartment, but, like, it's it's not as nice as my house. My, my game house. <laughs> okay, this part isn't nice, but his actual apartment is nice. So, therefore... Man, I went on with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, uh I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man Vito. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Falcone. Hi, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few <laughs> dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight. Maybe the don't be sassy with the boss. About right. The boss worry. man. I got a plan. Shit. Joe, Joe that makes put me that worried. thing away. <laughs> Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just got to press Christ this. Sake, put it away now. Okay. What's the matter with you? Okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay. So <laughs> now we're going to waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building. But everybody in a room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. <laughs> Seriously, Joe, me. who are you? If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. <sighs> what do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. So is this when he dies? Because there's no way this kid is making out of this game alive. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I'd be shocked. Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Capiche? Uh, okay, but hey, if you need it, I got my piece. 
Slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. Hurry up, boys. Oh. There's a flash all of a sudden. We'll take my car. All right, I'll drive. It's not our car. Why are we driving? What? No, just let us... Let us ride shotgun yeah. for once. This kid's supposed to be our getaway driver. Make him drive. Just don't he go busting practice. it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms okay, Hotel. Hagrid. Park in the underground parking lot and use the back entrance. Did you see that lady with that car? Magic. I wasn't listening. I'm going to the parking lot. The underground entrance. Hey, Nico, you want to go bowling? I know that was a bad accent, but you get the gist. So, uh, fellas, come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on. Well, what are Kid, you you're too nosy. Book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay. No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. Listen, I'm just saying, if he's our getaway driver, shouldn't he be driving us there so that he can practice and get a hotel? Feel? Sky high, what do you huh? got in Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, no, sorry. Happen. Not another word. Cross my heart. I fucked it up because I ran the red light. All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Drive nice and carefully. I could see myself crashing right at the end here and blowing the car up and having to do the whole drive over again. Park in there. And hey, carefully. we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. Not too bad at parking. All right, Vito and me will go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we going to get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. What, through the laundry shorts room. shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And I'm we don't want to make just... a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? I'm just wiggling all around. I cannot Stay get comfortable here. today. Ah, uh, always a fucking bridesmaid. Dude, you're like 12. Relax. <laughs> Obviously, that was an exaggeration. I realized ah, it's not shit. Cool. It's closed. The idiot the was button. supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Come on, you idiot. Not a door over there. Oh, well, where is he? He'd go on smoke break. Um. Why did I have to do that? 
I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was... All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? Where do I get a I uniform got it all from? under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. I knew those looked out of place. <laughs> you don't have a light shining on the clothes and the only clothes hanging for no reason. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. What Are is you it? you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. <laughs> Mario and Luigi. Let's go. Hey, you two. Get over here. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Okay. Let's Just go. Like being back in the joint. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, oh, Richie, come with us. Cinderella, Cinderella. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. Shh. Don't be obvious. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. We don't like Henry. Henry was in on trying to take advantage of us, okay? Don't hit the button. I haven't seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. I fucking hope so. Listen, I would say, like, please. Oh, damn time. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilled something in the conference room. I would say, please, how is no one gonna recognize you from a little mustache? You ain't but the gonna reality ask is... what it is. How it got there, you're just gonna clean it up. There's a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span and then get the fuck out of there. Uh, the reality is little things like that really do make you unrecognizable to These a lot of These two are here to clean up the uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. Whenever I would get a different hair color, nobody One would One of the guys me. who was uh, here before, he uh, tripped and fell. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. Mm. So now there's blood all over the fucking place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you got to get this shit cleaned up. And you got to make it snappy. All right. Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. <laughs> hey, yeah. Joe cut a hole in the window. Give me a hand here. Where's your leg, Joe? Oh, right there. Oh, shit. Uh, that, the, oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow, the blue, and the plus, and the plus. <laughs> Red and matching. Someone's gonna walk in right now, aren't they? Blue and cross over here. Perfect. Okay. The hard part is almost over. <clears throat> Are we gonna? Hey, I told you to clean it all up. I'm trying. It won't let me. Can we at least get some gloves? Doesn't seem very sanitary. Also, I don't think you're just scrubbing blood out of a carpet like that. Yeah, looks like you're done. I'd like to know right, the cleaner they use because I can't even get the food stains out of my toddler's clothes. So, uh... <laughs> okay, now let's get to the roof. Don't work so good, though. 
I'd like to know uh, what what cleaning solution you're using to get the blood out. We could take him out right now. If we had a gun. Yeah, and we'd be dead in two seconds. Just take it easy and stick to the plan. Honestly, it's been going a little too well. I'd like to know when the hitch is going to arrive. Damn. I ain't used to this much exercise. Why did I got to put so many fucking stairs? What do you want, <laughs> carry you? Vito. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Here. This is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. But we couldn't bring guns nice. in case Some we got work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified clip. did you, uh... Holds 23 me. bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. So basically, I have to get good. Come at these guys. Fuck. Don't shoot. Alright, let's get out of here. Can't we just take him out quiet, like? Oh, oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on, check it out. <laughs> Why can't we just stealth up to him? <laughs> Find the hotels. So I am supposed. Why did you shut the door again? Do I have to go a different way? No. Okay, but they're looking at me, so... Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost! Shit, they got guns! Okay, Vito. Here we go. Okay. Off to a great start. I, I don't ever know where it's gonna put. I'm going in. I'm back. Put my. Oh. Oh, great. Yep. <laughs> you have been killed. Yes. Yes, I have been. All right, let's just kick the shit in then. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Shit. Okay. okay. Better start. Better start. For sure. They teach you that in the army? Joe, do something. Back you up. I took all these guys out. You've done nothing. Please. Let's just go. Oh. The protection, I'm out. Ah. Oh, that was just a whiff. Oh no. Okay, how do I get up there? Oh, that's Joe. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> I just shot him in the trachea. There might be more. Okay, how do I get up? Oh my god, I thought this was water. Okay, well. Um, hold stairs back here. Can't see anything. Lead on, Joe. Where'd you guys come from? Going in. Way to go, Vito. Thanks for the help, Joe. gonna go there. Oh, no. 
No, I need a sandwich. I need a sandwich. Where are these people coming from? It's red, it should hit. <laughs> Where is the schmuck? There we go. Uh oh. Getting one bullets. Two doing? I wasn't done with my. Don't worry about oh, it. Walk shit. away. Jesus, okay. Okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. He ain't gonna hurt you. Washing windows ain't worth it, buddy. Okay, apparently Joe has to go first. Here's Show some you. tape. Tie him up. Oh, okay. I don't think we need to tie him up. You just consider just... yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. Oh, there's a playboy right there. Uh, excuse me, I'm just gonna. Okay, get on. We got work. Just gonna take. To do. Look at the view. I can see hey. my house from here. How much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. It looks like a big... this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. A big boomstick. Okay. This is the right floor. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. <laughs> don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. <laughs> They'd be like, how long does it take you to clean one window? 40 minutes later. Sweet passion. Okay, got it. Take us up a bit. Payback's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. How's our hat staying on? These assholes ain't gonna know. Whoa! Oh, my. Whoa! Oh, my God! Fuck oh, it! Oh, what the hell was that? I don't know. The thing just blew. We'll barely feel it, all right? All right, all right. Let's go take a look. <laughs> I don't know why I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Ah, what the? Shit. Yes. I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here. What a fucking mess. It felt like a fucking earth. What, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Lucky bastard. Are we gonna you shoot him? You assholes! Or? You're gonna Fuck die for this! Get away! Come on, Vito! <sighs> Great. Hey, we sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it! Get you. No! I oh! Do anything. Oh, God! No. <laughs> I, I couldn't take cover, it wasn't letting me. So, uh. 
pretty good this game. Hey, you sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it. Okay. Why did he do anything? Why did he shoot the bartender? What did the bartender do? Once again, if it's red, it should count as hitting him. Come on, show yourself. Back me up, Pito. Watch out. Behind him, flash wall. Oh, good. Oh, good. It's fucking over. Go easy. Come on, douchebag. Would you like me to kill the guy with the Tommy gun or be careful of the boost? Can't do both. You shoot like my sister. Who is shooting us though? I can't see anybody. Lost him. I bet all this good booze going to waste. I see you with a bottle in your hand, I'll shoot you myself. I mean I could use some because technically the bear heals us, so I'm just saying. Would be helpful. Oh shit! The other door, Vito. I got the right side. I, just, just together. I got no bullets. Can I give me that? Right in the cojones. See you next fall, asshole. <laughs> You're so funny, Joe. You shoot like my sister. Who are you talking to? Nobody's shooting. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. This way, Vito. You won't get through there. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck. Okay, the sprinklers are going off. Really? Because yep. I thought it was rain. <laughs> Wise ass. I can't see a damn thing through all this water. Um. Okay. Oh. Quick, sir. There's more of them coming. I Come can't on, believe. assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three, two. Hey, what the heck is going on here? Get out of there, lady. We ain't got uh, nothing against you. Poor lady. Hit the button. Let's go. Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi will be in a bedroom? He wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll get him. I don't know about that. I'm not so sure. Shit, another one! On a cat! Going in! You're fucking dead! Up there! Oh, you're in trouble. There's nobody in here. Is that a magazine I can get though? Joe, I don't need to go first. You can go first for lunch. It's okay. Feel free to take the first shot from these people. Oh, you're fucking brilliant. It's fucking over. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. Joe, I'm the you're killing me with these comments. Okay, that was just a plain old lift. Because I don't know where, I don't know why. The game just has a mind of its own for where it actually wants to aim. When I do pop out, aim like that. Oh, don't worry, this dude's protected by clothes. Can I... Can I do... Give me all the guns. Buddy! No! No! Fuck! They shot him! He's dead, Vito! Choke him off. Gotta get out of here. You can't help him now. Clementi's getting away. I told you! I freaking told you! Never bring
bring the eager kid along. Yeah. You think They're it's too over? Eager. Wrong, assholes. Back me up, Vito. All right, there's two. If they split up, make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. I know how to drive, all right? Just be ready I, with the gun. Don't I worry mean... about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in a black limo. Hey, Joe, I can't get I out. Too, you know? no, I can't get out. Just step on it, Vito. I'm trying, Joe. <laughs> The driving in this game compared to the first game is just atrocious. Master. I wasn't good at it in the first game, but it felt better. This just feels not good when it needs to. How do I shoot? There goes one of them. Nice job. Clemente's next. Be careful, Vito! Did I get him? <laughs> Did I do good? That's the end of him. Can't be sure unless we check. Now we're gonna have to run from the cops after this. I mean, maybe open the door and just right in the head. This is for Marty. Let's go to my place. The cops just don't care. They just don't care. Do I, none of my business. <laughs> That's none of my business. This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left them there. Okay, okay. What about Clementi? Done. All right. Hey, don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your idea. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry! All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too, more than you think, but you knew the risks. You too! <sighs> hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, well... Just give me a minute to get changed. <laughs> I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. I don't know if Joe's gonna recover from this, guys. <laughs> I always go too far. My God, no! <laughs> Cracks me up every time. Every time. The car has seen some shit. <laughs> Just know it's swapping stories with the younger, newer model cars. Oh my god. Getting 
woken up by the phone ringing every single time would actually drive me insane. Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a uh, veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone playing salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey. If you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. I just want to see what happens if I go with no clothes on. Oh man. <laughs> Dang it. I thought that would have been funny. I was hoping they would say something like when I stunk. Oh. I think I need to... I think I need to go to the shop and get some of my cars fixed up. <laughs> Vito, you here? Right. Where is the voice is Vito? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door. And just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh, <laughs> right. You drive here? Nah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <coughs> sorry, kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. That poor guy! Oh, What the hell, Joe? Hey, Grandma, watch out. I got a body in my trunk I need to dispose of. Okay, Joe, we're here. 
we're supposed to do with this body? All right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? Or don't. I think I could use 24 hours without seeing you. Where am I supposed to dump the body? Where does it want me to take it? There goes my neighbor, mowing again. Always when I record. that car. I don't want it to get squished. How am I supposed to get home? I have no car. They did have to honk at my own garage door. Oh, finally, I can sleep. Chapter 11. A friend of ours. Villa Scaletta, July something. Who the hell is that? New artwork. All right, I am going to stop there. Um, ugh, Joe. <laughs> Freaking Joe. Like, what did he expect to happen? Did he honestly think? Well, he did. He really did. He honestly thought we were going to plant the bomb with no issue. The bomb was going to go off with no issue. We were going to kill Falcone with no issue. And our getaway driver, Marty, was going to be fine just waiting in the car. Really? Really? Anyways. Um, I still think that Beans dude, sketchy. Up to no good. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Curious to see what's going to happen with Joe, too. Because I feel like that could be the beginning of a decline for Joe. I'm a little worried about him. But it's nice that we're finally in the family. It feels like we're actually going to start getting into like the meat of things. Because now it's like family versus family. Um, so I'm excited to see where the story goes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell button when you do, so that way you know I post future videos. That's not how I say that, but okay, that's how I said it, so we're going to roll with it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have an amazing day.